So today's session is going to be a super set of front lever pulls and planche. Front lever pulls I'm going to do on this bar and the planche I'm going to do on a box. I'm going to walk and step into the planche or do like a little bit of a jump and catch in the planche position. So with the planche I'm doing it elevated, I'm going to externally rotate the hands as normal. Pro track, but I'm going to try and catch in the tuck position, so more of an open tuck to start with for me. Hold like five, ten seconds. And the normal planche focuses for me, so trying to keep my arms dead straight, trying to protract as much as I can, and then as I go to the more harder versions, trying to open the hip up. So the workout's going to be a couple of reps of three to five second holds on the dynamic entry planche. Then with the front lever pull, just playing around with the different progressions. So I'm gonna go with an easier version on the way up, harder version on the way back down. So I'm gonna to attempt a to straight body on the way up. I'm probably gonna to need to close the hip a little bit or use a little bit of momentum. Then I'm gonna pause at the top, squeeze the glutes, try to open the hip fully and slowly lower with the best possible technique you can. So I'll attempt to go into a straddle position now, aiming for around that five to second hold. Eight seconds would be nice, but I'm not promising anything. So obviously this is very similar to the start of the skin the cow, it's basically the same movement, or the 360 pull if you start to open up into that straighter body position. With the easiest version being the tuck, so straight arms. Open out to advanced tuck. You could obviously play with the half lay and the straddle position before working towards that full. So I really struggle to find that half lay position. Maybe I'm not strong enough in the planche yet to get it, but I'm gonna try instead of going up into it, because I get a bit stuck in the hip as I go up, because going from the closed hip, trying to open and get the legs behind just feels funny. And I tend to lose the protraction. I'm gonna try lowering from handstand in half lay, see if that helps. Yeah, I don't think that was very good. It's hard to know about watching the video back, but I don't think that was in a great position and only held for a couple of seconds. So next three sets, I'm just gonna stick with the straddle planche and see how that feels and try and open the hip up as much as I can. And just try and jump and catch in the position a bit more. So work on that dynamic entry because it's just a little bit different, a little bit fun to play with on the box. Now, if you can't do this yet, I recommend you work towards this. So hold in this position for time. So try and open the hip up as much as you can. It's a weird one, but you just have to like push down. It's a bit like a bodybuilder would do lat pull downs, so, you know, like the straight ones that develop certain parts of their lats. So they push down on the lat pull down bar, stand in, uh, retract, depress the shoulder blades, open the chest and pull the bar all the way down to their hips or to their thighs. Same thing on the bar, but it's closed chain. So the body moves instead of uh, what your hand's pushing against. Then to finish off, I'm gonna do some pullovers like that. Nice and slow, and then eccentric as slow as possible. Coming down, as slow as possible, back down again. Half it with that one is trying to open the hip as much as possible. Putting that gas to get over. So trying to keep the hip Open now on the way back. Open. And then the finale on the box, I'm gonna slide up, go into a straddle, press to handstand, lower down to a straddle planche, hold that for as long as I can, it'll probably only be two or three seconds, and then close into easier 
planche progressions or regressions uh, till I finish in the tuck planche, hold there for at least 10 seconds. That was the session today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about what I've done or if you have any questions about what you're doing. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you're training. Thumbs up and subscribe. We appreciate it. And I'll speak to you next time. Thanks, guys. Rosie. Hey.